What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about three creative ways um, to use the Deal Machine app to create lists that no one else has, to reach no one, to reach people that other people aren't reaching out to so you can get deals that no one else is looking at, which means you can get the best prices possible in your market today. Let's go. What's up guys, it's your boy, Sawan Lamar Belcher. Um, today I'm hype because um, we actually had a, an interview with uh, David Lecco. He is the owner of the Deal Machine app and he is inspiring me to share how we use the Deal Machine app inside a rock company to do deals. Now, I, I love the app mainly because I started using it because he did deals before. Now, I like that because in a lot of these different software apps, software developers aren't real estate investors. And so as a real estate investor, when we're using these apps and we make a suggestion of how we're using it, if it's not taken or if it's not perceived in the right way, then nothing ever gets done. The app doesn't get better for the user. But since David does the business, he's always made upgrades to help the real estate investor who's actually using the app. That's one thing I love about it. And so today I wanted to share with you how you can use the app to benefit you in your wholesaling, your real estate investing business, or if, even if you're a realtor as well. Now, number one is understand that the person that you're marketing to does not have to be a seller. You can use the app to not just market to sellers, but also to market to other agents, can use the uh, app to market to um, cash buyers. You can also use the app uh, to market to businesses or property managers. Okay, now this is this is specifically what I would do. Okay, now if you're using the app, you know one day you're you're adding you know, 100 addresses, and for whatever reason you come across a house that looks abandoned or beat up and you know battered or bruising, and you would think that typically that this is a seller that needs to sell, right? But the day that you add it, Deal Machine says, hey, the property just sold last month, okay? Now, because it's in not so good condition, we already know mentally that that is a cash buyer. That's an investor who purchased it already. So most of the time before this, what most people will do is say, well, oh, I'm not gonna call them because they're an investor. They do what I do. They, they have an exit strategy to make them money. You know, I'm not gonna reach out to them. But what I do is when I see that happen, I send them a cash buyer mailer, like a, the postcard inside of Deal Machine. What most people don't know is inside of the Deal Machine app, you can create multiple um, postcards. Like, so I have one for subject to sellers, right? Uh, I have one for uh, houses that I drive for dollars on. I have one postcard for our Opportunity Zone um, you know, campaign. I have another one for cash buyers. You know, I have another one for property managers. Um, and then I have another one that has like my family photo on it. I have all of these different postcards for all of these different lists, for all these different marketing campaigns. And so my cash buyer camp, you know, postcard, I send that to everyone who may be a cash buyer, directing them to my website where I sell, where I sell my wholesale deals. Now, <laughs> when, after you've done this for a while, you'll understand that the more cash buyers you have is the more private money guys you'll have. And we'll leave that for another video. Okay, the second way you can creatively use the Deal Machine app is to create niche lists that no one else are making. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the, the one that gets us the most success and you guys use it. If you don't use it, you're crazy. We like to keep up with the news. We like to keep up what's going on in our neighborhood and create lists off of that. And the best one that we've, we've done, you know, uh, done like a fire list, we've done like a flood, uh, flood zone list, um, but the best one has been the opportunity zone list. Literally every city, every county, every state has an opportunity zone map. Opportunity zone is a law that Mr. Trump passed to help encourage people to buy in low income areas. Now, this law, you know, helps these people who buy houses in low income areas, who fix them up and who hold those properties. You know, so this law promotes people to own in the hood, okay? That's where I buy, you know? So during my, during my wholesaling journey, I noticed people didn't like to buy in the hood and I could never get people to really 
buy our deals or at least spend enough money in the hood with us. So when he came out with this law, I said, this is my way. I'm going to educate buyers to buy in the hood more. And so we came out with a strategy to focus on getting more deals in the hood and then educate those buyers on the new law that was passed it. You know, you can't go to list source and get an opportunity zone list. You can't go to whatever your other software you use to get an opportunity zone list, but you can sit there on your computer, pull up the opportunity zone map, pull up the deal machine, you know, app and literally click every property that's in this map and add it to a customized list and then send them targeted marketing. Works perfectly every single time. Um, now the third way you can use deal machine to be very creative is you can also pull MLS data. Okay. You can pull MLS data. This is important because data from the MLS is the best data in the business. You know, we can look up stuff on Zillow all you want and pull up for, for sale by owner stuff all you want and go to rental meter all you want. But when you when it's time to do an appraisal, when it's time to do a refinance, when it's time to do a survey, the information that's on the MLS is the holy grail of all data. Um, and, and Deal Machine uh, knows that because once again, he's a real real estate investor. So he buys MLS data. So that way you guys can have advantage of that. And now one of the lists that you can get inside of the Deal Machine, inside of the Deal Machine app is the expired listings. This is perfect for the investor who doesn't always want to make a cash offer, who's okay with getting uncomfortable with making subject to offers and seller finance offers, offers that allow you to only bring a little bit of cash, you know, out of pocket. So that way you can acquire a house by taking over a mortgage or allowing the seller to take his profits over time so he can save in taxes. Now, these are three beneficial ways I'm using the deal machine app. And I don't want you to miss out on our interview that we did with David so you can get to know him, his story, and then more about the app as well. I'm gonna leave that right here for you. Peace.